Welcome to The Daily Do. Today we're going to be looking at both of my dividend portfolios and we're going to see how they've been performing since the last update, which was around January. But before we begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment to let me know how your portfolio is doing. Looking at the dividend portfolio in M1 Finance, first we can tell there have definitely been a few red days to say the least. In the beginning of February, we can see the portfolio was at an all-time high of $16,300. But now near the end of March, its value is around $14,170. And including dividends received, we see for the first quarter, we have a gain of minus $1,048, or down 7%. Now, I was gone most of February on vacation, and during that time, I actually didn't end up adding any money to this portfolio. So the only purchases have come from the dividends being reinvested. But now that I'm back and no longer paying for a vacation, I plan on regularly investing some money back into the account. Honestly, I should have continued to invest into the account. However, I'm not perfect at hitting my goals. But hopefully going forward, I can be a little more consistent. But if we get into the individual slices of this pie, we can see what companies have had the biggest drop in share price. Looking at the ETF section, we can see uh, SPHD is down 10% and SCHD down almost 6.5% and VIM about 5%. If we move into the real estate section, we can see Medical Properties Trust, MPW, is down almost 30% for this quarter. In the financial services section, we can see Key Corp and Huntington both down over 20%, probably from all of the bad news the banks are receiving right now. The industrial section is the actual only section that is in the green, and that's because of EPD being up almost 7.6%. In the food and beverage section, we have Coca-Cola down 3.58%. In communication, we have AT&T down uh, almost half a percent. In the healthcare, we have uh, Gilead Sciences being down 10% and Abvi being down 2.62%. And then finally, in the energy section, we have Exxon Mobil being down 3.68%. But now, if we move into Robinhood, which acts as my high yield dividend portfolio, over the last month, it's only down around 2.5%. Now, I don't have plans to add any money to this portfolio, but rather use the income from the dividends to buy shares of SCHD. If we look at the dividend tracker, we can see for March, I should be getting around $326 in dividends. And that's putting me on track to receive $4,600 in dividends for the entire year. Now, when it comes to my goals, we can see not much has changed since my last update especially since the only things that were purchased were from dividends being reinvested, which was only around $500. But I know, every dollar invested counts. So it's still moving forward toward my goal of living off these dividends in the future. But let me know, what are your goals when it comes to dividends, and how close are you? And if you have any suggestions to help people stay more consistent when it comes to investing, let me know in the comments down below.